Hi everyone, welcome to The Coding Train. I'm Dan, I'm still quarantined here at home in Brooklyn, New York, and today I am bringing you a guest video. So I've had guests on The Coding Train before, tutorials, presentations, some live streams even. I'm dedicating myself uh, uh, this summer, I'm really trying to make a commitment to having more guests on the channel. Um, I'm calling this Guest Conductors now, and uh, what I wanna do with this series is highlight others in the community that are doing work to expand the fields of art, technology, education, and activism. So I'm gonna bring you guest videos and tutorials and uh, live streams. So one of the things um, that I think is important to say uh, is that there are barriers of access to technology, and there is anti-blackness within the tech community. And so I, I wanna say Black Lives Matter, and one of the things that I wanna do with this series is uh, use, it, use this platform as a way to amplify black voices and perspectives. So I'm, I want to extend this platform to people beyond me um, and I want to offer opportunities for others to share their stories openly, honestly. You could talk about really anything you want to. Um, this platform uh, is available and um, but you know one of the things you might want to do is just teach about something you love to make or explore with code. So if you want to get involved with um, the guest conductor series um, on the coding train. Um, there'd be a lot more information I'm not able to, not so eloquent in my rambling explanation of this, but uh, hopefully in the video's description, if you go down and read there, there'll be a lot more information about what I'm, what I'm doing with the channel and how to get involved. So first of all, uh, this isn't actually the first in this um, uh, guest conductor series. If you missed um, Aaron Davies' guest appearance just a couple weeks ago, Aaron runs a Twitch channel. She's a, a, a Processing Foundation fellow, and she runs a Twitch channel called Cozy Coding. It's the coziest place on the internet with P5JS jam sessions, and um, really, it's great if you're a beginner coder, if you're experienced. Um, um, she's just doing awesome work there on Twitch, so check that out. Um, but today, I am very excited to bring you Nelson from Amiga. Amigos Code. So Nelson from Amigos Code is a software engineer, like a real life software engineer, not like one who just plays one on YouTube like me. And um, um, he makes a lot of videos about coding real projects um, and learning the skills that companies are looking for. And, and he's got all these courses, thousands of students have taken his courses. He's got a Facebook group, a Discord group. Uh, group. There's over 5,000 people there talking about code. So I really encourage you to check those links will be in this video's description to, to go take a look and join uh, the Amigos Code community. Um, but one of the things I'm, I'm really excited about this video, it's called, which is called How to Switch Jobs and Become a Software Engineer. It's a re-upload of a video that already exists on his channel. So first of all, just go over there and watch the video. I'll put a card up for you to click. But what this video addresses is career development. What does it mean to work as a software engineer? It's not something that I really spend a lot of time talking about. It's not something that I claim to have really any expert knowledge in at all. So I think this is a nice compliment to some of the work that I'm doing. And regardless, regardless of whether you stay here and watch it, I'm gonna play it for you right now or you head over there and watch it. Whatever you do, uh, Nelson will tell you. I'm going to quoting from Nelson. Smash. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I'm saying smash. Don't smash my like and subscribe button. It's very delicate. But but Amigos Code, smash uh, the subscribe and like. Um, enjoy this uh, wonderful uh, discussion from Amigos Code. Subscribe to Amigos Code. Uh, check out Nelson's work there. And I look forward to seeing you in more uh, guest conductor videos on the coding train. See you soon. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What's going on guys? Welcome to Amigos Code. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and smash uh, the subscribe button because uh, you know that's the way I can grow and I keep on providing more content like this. And also smash the like button, right? So it makes me really um, happy and knowing that you know you guys are actually enjoying this so I can carry on providing uh, content for you that will help you to become a much better developer. So this is what Amigos Code is about. So also if you're um, if you're not and also if you are not and also if you are not part of the uh, Facebook group, go ahead and join because right now we are over four thousand people, it, which is like insane, right? I remember when I started, it was just me, but over the I think it was over the over the last year or so, uh, especially last month or so, actually. And, you know, there's, there's been like a lot of people joining, a lot of people contributing. And now we have this thing called, this thing where we do um, uh, mentorship. So we have a couple of us where we mentor people, um, you know, guiding them on the right path in terms of becoming a, a better software engineer and, you know, securing a job and all, all of these things, right? So go ahead and, and join the private Facebook group. So in this video, what I want to talk to you about is 
the easiest way for you to switch careers, right? The easiest way for you to switch careers to become a software engineer if you have a job. So this only applies for you if you have a job, right? So if you don't have a job, I'm also planning on doing a video um, on that. But if you have a job, right? What is the easiest way for you to switch careers and become a software engineer? So let me let me just tell you that. And I know people that have done it, you know, in many companies and and I don't, I don't know whether it's, it's something that it's it's been mentioned out there, but this is one of the easiest way. So if you work for a company, right, if you work for a company and they are a tech company and even if they're not tech, but if they use some some kind of technology, if they if the, the business, some part of the business, you have software engineers in house, right? So let's say you work in a department and you know that the company has software engineers within your company, right? It doesn't have to be uh, in the same location. It could be in a different location. But if there are software engineers, then you are in a good place. Now, let me tell you how. So. Let's say that you work for a company and you know they, let, let's say you work for Stripe, right? Or, or Twilio, let's say Twilio, or really it's any company, any company that they write software or they have some people writing software. So if you're gonna switch to, uh, to become a software engineer, this is what you should do. So I don't advise you to go to, to quit your job and then attend a bootcamp and then apply for jobs, right? D don't do that yet, right? So bootcamp should be like the last resource that you should try. So what you what you can do is, if you know that the company uses, for example, a particular language, let's say Python, right? So they use Python, and let's say they use Golang as well, right? Or JavaScript, right? Like, let's say they use those these three languages, right? So what you do, what you do, so this is even before you switching and approaching people, what you do is you try and, um, actually you don't try, you go and learn these languages. So Python, Go and JavaScript. Go and learn these three languages, right? So, you know, the, the, uh, the, the platform that you should be using is YouTube. So you've got many people teaching, you know, these languages and they're really good and awesome content. And I'm going to leave a link on some of, some of the people that I recommend, such as Free Code Camp, uh, Travis in Media, and, you know, he's, he's got like lots of videos on JavaScript. Um, there are many, many people um, out there uh, and uh, the content is amazing, right? So there you don't spend any money. So you are learning uh, for free, right? So that's that's the goal, really. You you don't wanna spend any money. So you learn for free, and then you kind of join, like for example, my Facebook my Facebook group or any any other group, right? Or any community that talks about coding, right? And that way, uh, if you have any questions, you can you know post them, and then people will get back to you. And um, for example, in, in my in my in my group, we actually talk to people. We have video calls and and so on and so forth, right? So, go and join a, a community, right? So, if you have any questions, you you go and ask them. So now you've learned the languages that the company uses. What you need to do next is to try and build an application, right? An application uh, very similar to what they do, right? It doesn't have to be the entire application. It could even be like a small feature, right? So let's say that you really like what they do. Um, you wanna, for example, you, you wanted to have like, for example, a feature that they don't have, right? So for example, they might have, they might have an API and you can actually connect to their API and then build like a, a small feature right, that you, the company doesn't have, but you think that it would be very beneficial for the company, right? You would do that. And then that way, right, that way, now you've, you've gone off and learned the languages, so you, sh you showed some interest, but on top of that, you've built, you've built a project um, and a feature that they even might be interested, right? So once you do those two things, the next step for you is to try and see how you're going to um, approach someone within the company 
that can lead you to the right person. You might talk to HR, or let's say you go for lunch with a software engineer, you might talk to him and tell him, look, uh, I've been thinking about this, I've been learning this technology, I've, I've even implemented this, who's the best person to talk? And then they might direct you to the actual um, person in charge of recruitment or even the director or the, the, the you know technical lead. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. So once you um, reach the right person, this is when you impress. This is when you impress. So you can talk about what you've done, what you've built, and I'm, I'm, I can guarantee you, like, I can guarantee you, you will blow their minds, right? So you you can, you know, tell them that their story. You can say, look, um, you know, I've been thinking about becoming a software engineer. Uh, I'll, I enjoy my work, but I think um, I want to be, uh, you know, challenged uh, in a different area. Uh, I've, I've always liked, you know, working with computers and solving problems. So I went away and then I built this application that uses the API and I, I was studying the application, how it works. And, you know, I, I saw that you were missing a feature and, and then I tried to implement it. Um, and basically there you just show an interest, right? Because now the company, they don't have to go outside to hire people because First, they already know that you work within the company. So if, if they want to get reference, they can talk to, um, you know, your manager or someone that give that, that or, or someone that can give you or actually someone that can give them feedback about you. Right. So they don't have to go outside. Everything is internally. Right. And if they see that you are capable and um, you are willing to learn and you can fit their, their culture, I can guarantee you that you will switch careers, right? So this is what I recommend for people that want to become software engineers and they work within a company, right? So as I said, like the location, so for example, many, many companies have, for example, one department in one location and the other department in a different location. So, so this is actually totally fine. You just need to know how to approach the right people to talk to and, and see how you are going to, to make that transition, right? That switch, right? Um, and yeah, so I've, I've, I've been talking to people, for example, in recruitment, they are switching to software engineering roles. Uh, you know, the bootcamp industry is actually booming because software engineering, there's lots of flexibilities, there's lots of, of opportunities, and the amount of things that you can build, it's amazing, right? It's, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, so this is my advice, um, and I feel like um, if, you, for, if, for example, you don't have um, a job right now and you're switching, then I think your approach would be somewhat different, and I've got you know really good advice uh, for you to, to, to to apply right and also one one more thing that I actually almost forgot is make sure that you you learn about git so git um, allows you to basically store your your code um, you know in a repository and then you can you can sh you can share that repository with with people right because you know if you are talking that you have been building this stuff then you can say, look, I've built this stuff and this is my GitHub repository. And then what they do is just, just go in and see whether you're not lying or, or not, right? So there they can see your code and they can see, wow, you know, it's, it's got potential. It's got potential, right? So this is this is what I, I wanted to talk to you about because I feel like, um, I'm not sure if I've seen videos like this or any anyone talking about this matter. Uh, and let me know, let me know what you think, whether you've, you switch careers like this and maybe, you know, there is something that you want me to uh, spread with the wider community, let me know, right? Um, and this is all for now. So if you have any, any questions, as I said, uh, I always say, like, if you have questions, if you have questions or uh, if you need advice, go ahead and join the group. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like literally subscribe and give me a thumbs up so I can keep on recording videos like this. So this is all for now. I'll catch you in the next one, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.